Africa has entered a new era of health sciences. Cape Town-based Afrogen Biologics and Vaccines is working on a messenger RNA jab using the same sequence as Moderna. The goal to produce mRNA vaccines to suit low-income countries. This program will demonstrate that low- and middle-income countries can build innovate vaccine innovation platforms because we're building a platform here, not only for COVID but for, for other vaccines. We will demonstrate that. Changing the narrative requires people to accept, support and believe that we can replicate this. Being part of this hub in Cape Town, I feel is like a beacon of hope to um, low middle income countries. There are vast challenges, not only equitable distribution of vaccines, but also building an ecosystem of biotechnology, the biomanufacturing um, pharmaceutical space. Scientists from six participating countries have already completed the first round of training at Afrogen's facilities on a shoestring budget. So the mRNA Hub program, which consists of the development of the technology, building of the technology packages, transfer that technology package to 15 other spokes, which is the network that's being created here, and to start an R&D program to build the pipeline of new mRNA vaccines. The five-year budget is a modest 117 million US dollars. That is one-fifth of the cost of some of the large vaccine facility development. This component of Afrigen, which is a facility, all the regulatory, all the, all, this, all the standard operating procedures, the signs, the people, the equipment, the total budget is 44 million US dollars, which is incredibly modest. Africa is the least vaccinated continent in the world. Nearly more than two years into the pandemic, barely 5% of eligible Africans have been fully immunized. Developing vaccines on the continent may help. In Africa, we still experience vaccine hesitancy. It's a real challenge. And I do believe that there's a part to play for um, that local manufacturers can have. So you instill greater confidence in your population when they know that this vaccine has been developed locally. If all goes to plan, critical trials on humans will begin in May 2023. It's hoped this facility will become an African solution not only for COVID-19, but could be extended to cover the development and manufacturing of future mRNA vaccines for other key diseases such as malaria, HIV and tuberculosis, diseases that the West is less likely to invest in. Julie Shara, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.